Hello everyone, welcome to the web design help series for the XR Web Designer software where I answer questions for viewers or subscribers to my channel. In this particular case we're going to be building upon what we started with in the previous tutorial because the question in this case kind of relates directly to it. So make sure you watch that first before you continue with this video. So in this case the user's question was how do you create a uh, button that triggers a sliding object but also can have a link. In this case they want the button to trigger the slide in if you place your mouse cursor over that button but if you click on the button they want it to actually go to a website. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that. The first thing that you want to do is click on the mouse over button then right click on it and then you want to go to web animation and under the web animation dialog menu go ahead and click on the drop down menu for show pop-up layer. In this case we're going to select object which is the uh, layer that we created in the previous tutorial and then click on the effect button and make sure it's set to slide in from right. So go ahead and hit OK for that then hit OK again and the next thing that we want to do is right click on this and go to uh, web properties and under the web properties dialog menu you want to make sure you're under the link tab and then under the link to web or email address we're going to enter in a particular website or another destination within your website if you want to link directly to a different web page in your website in this case I'm just going to link to Google so just type in www.google.com go ahead and hit OK and then hit F5 to preview and if we place our cursor over the button you'll see that the object slides in if we left click on that button it should take us to the Google website. So in this case you can see that it takes us to the Google website. Now the disadvantage to that is you did notice that when you click on it, it you know slides the object again and on your screen before it transitions to the next page. But it in essence does kind of solve the problem of wanting to allow your users to go to a different web page uh, when they click on it. It's not perfect, but you know that's about as close as I'm able to get to that at this particular point. If I find a better solution, I will definitely let you know. So I hope that this video was helpful, and if it was, don't forget to embed, comment, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for future videos.